Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we're at Disneyland to share with you our top 25 food, snacks, and drinks between Disneyland Park and Disney California Adventure. So let's get going. And we are gonna start off our list with a bonus, uh, an item that is sometimes on the menu, sometimes not, not quite seasonal, but I still think it's a great option and that is the Darth Bai chocolate. If you ever happen to see it at Galactic Grill, make sure that you grab it. The Darth Bai chocolate is layered cake and pudding and deliciousness. Oh, it is so good. And now starting off our main list with number 25, we have the Red Rose Tavern and that gray stuff. Now you know that I love the gray stuff. So if the gray stuff is number 25, that means everything else on this video has to be phenomenal, right? Right? Am I right? Uh, the green stuff, however, is my favorite iteration of the gray stuff, only available in March for St. Patrick's Day. Actually, just the first half of March. Uh, if I have to pick another one aside from that, might be the grave stuff because it's got a chocolate cake. I do like the regular red velvet that the standard gray stuff comes in, but they always have different varieties. So check out which one is here when you get come and uh, put it on your list. Next, we have the mint julep from the mint julep bar. And uh, I personally would have been inclined to put this a little higher on my list, but I had Amy help me out with this and she finds it to be very toothpastey, does not like the mint julep, but I think it is amazing. It's a classic Disneyland snack, very refreshing drink. I had not had it for years. After hearing all the hype, I finally broke down and tried it like less than a year ago. And it quickly became one of my favorite drinks at Disneyland. Uh, I have gotten it at least half a dozen times and I'm sure to get it many, many more. Now for any of the items that are over in DCA, I don't feel like going over to DCA today. I, I, I just don't, sorry. So I'm gonna talk about them here on a classic Disneyland park bench, put some video footage on the screen for you. And first up we have the Choco Smash Cake. And this is gonna be from Pim Test Kitchen. Now they used to have the Choco Smash Bar. I do miss the Choco Smash Bar, but it melted pretty quickly. I think the cake variety handles the, the melting situation. Uh, it also adds in a cake layer on top of everything else. All the other layers are still there. The flavors are still the same and it's also still just as dense filling and shareable as the Choco Smash Bar. So if you have a sweet tooth and you've tried the Choco Smash Bar and you are sad it's gone, give the Choco Smash Cake a try because it is just as tasty. At number 22, we have the breakfast chimichanga from the Ship to Shore Market right across from Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and right next to the Mark Twain Riverboat. This location has a limited supply of these breakfast chimichangas, so if you do want to get one, you are going to have to show up early because uh, they only promise while supplies last. It's supposed to run till 11, but I've seen them run out before, before 9 a.m. So if you're after the breakfast chimichanga, come get it early. It really is a good option. Next we have Psych. No, we don't have anything good from Golden Horseshoe. <laughs> you, you know I love to hate on Golden Horseshoe here. I'm sorry if you love Golden Horseshoe. I, I genuinely am. You can keep on liking it we can have a difference of opinion. I'm okay with that. 21 is the mac and cheese chili in a sourdough bread bowl from Refreshment Corner. One of the newer items that I have tried within the last, I would say three to four months. Pleasantly surprised by this. Before, I wasn't a big fan of Refreshment Corner. Still not a big fan of their hot dogs. They're pretty great for some pretzels and things like that. But if you're looking for one of the best items at the Disneyland Resort, this mac and cheese chili bowl is not to be missed. Next is a classic Mickey treat. It is gonna be the Mickey Premium Ice Cream Bar, which you can get from one of these little stands behind me. They have these stands all over the park. Uh, they are not like the ones at Walt Disney World. The ones at Walt Disney World, you unwrap them and they're already half melty and you gotta eat them quick. Uh, it's still hot here. I mean, it's a pretty hot day today here too, but whatever they do, in their freezers these things are like nitro frozen i mean so much so that sometimes i have to like let them warm up for 10 minutes before i bite into them otherwise i'm going to break my teeth it may sound like i'm saying bad things about it but no i mean the, the flavor on these things is phenomenal once they soften up a bit i'm just letting you know that you don't need to like you know rush to eat them here like you do at walt disney world if you are familiar with that but these mickey premium ice cream bars are a classic disney treat that you have to get 
If you are enjoying this video and finding it helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to save some money on your next Disneyland vacation, go ahead and give my friends a call at Getaway today and tell them that SoCal Disney Dad sent you. Or you can click the link down in the description and use my coupon code to save on their already discounted packages. And our first stop at Jolly Holiday, and I say first because you are going to see this one a lot in this video, is for that cinnamon roll. Yes, the cinnamon roll that I talk about all the time that I get very nearly every time I come, or at least I, I did before when I was eating sugar. I'll go back to eating sugar after Walt Disney World, I promise. We'll get some nice, delicious sweets and treats here on the channel. But that cinnamon roll is delicious. It's amazing. It's not quite as good as the one at Gaston's Tavern in Magic Kingdom. Kingdom, but it is a very close second. For those of you who are familiar with Walt Disney World, I do like the cinnamon roll and it definitely deserves to be on the list. Coming in at number 18 is the Impossible Spoonful from Pim Test Kitchen. Yes, I do know that it is just pasta. And yes, I do know that that is not a real meatball. Does it matter? No because I love it all the same. Now, I know some of you don't have the same penchant for pasta as I do here on the channel, but I like all of their pastas here at Disneyland. None of them have treated me wrong ever, and the Impossible Spoonful is my favorite of the pastas that you can find. So I put it in my top 25 list. And for 17, we come to Tiana's Palace. And that is gonna be for the house gumbo, the best item on the menu and arguably, or actually easily, not arguably at all, uh, the uh, best item to come out of Tiana's Palace like that, that, you know, that we get now that Tiana's Palace is open is going to be that house gumbo. Do I still miss my Cajun meatloaf and my jambalaya? Absolutely, I do. Disney, if you're paying attention, you know, it's, it's, it's still Cajun themed. You, you can put them back, please. <laughs> please, you can. But the house gumbo, pretty great. Number 16 is the Serengeti Stew from Troubadour Tavern. Now, if you watched my best quick service meals at Disneyland, this made the list and it also makes our top 25 foods at Disneyland. You actually are probably seeing a bit of overlap from there because we are pulling in some of the best quick service meals for our top foods list. If you haven't checked out that video, specifically we go to every single restaurant around the park and we give you the best item on their menu. Now, just because it's the best item on a menu doesn't mean it's the best item at the resort. So you won't see all of those things here, but maybe you're considering going to a place like Hungry Bear and you want to know what the best item is. It's not here in this video, but that video will help you out. So check it out when you're done with this one. Next, we have the classic churro, which you could get these at many different carts all around Disneyland. You can't go wrong with a churro. Now they have many different seasonal varieties too, which level up the churro experience. But if you've never been to Disneyland, you have to get a churro. It is something that is special to hear. Now they have them hidden a few places at Walt Disney World, but they're all over at Disneyland. Classic Disneyland treat that absolutely deserves to be in the top 25 snacks or foods at Disneyland. Then we have that delicious fried chicken from the Plaza Inn. Now the last time I got this was like six to eight months ago, so I don't remember it all that well, but I do know that it is very good. Comes with like mashed potatoes and green beans kind of remind you a bit of like a Thanksgiving meal as well. I know it's fried chicken. It's not like turkey or ham or anything, but oh, very good. One of the more expensive items at Disneyland. And because of that, you're also getting quality. And the only reason why it's not higher on the list is because fried chicken isn't necessarily like one of my favorite things to get, especially bone in fried chicken. But um, again, we can't go wrong with anything on this list, really. And we are back at the Mint Julep Bar because we can't, of course, forget that this is also where you get those delicious Mickey beignets. Amy definitely wanted these high up on the list. They are one of her favorite snacks to get. They're very delicious. Make sure you shake the bag, get them coated in that powdered sugar. And uh, if you've never had a Mickey beignet, you gotta get one. 
What makes it different from any other beignet? Well, it's got Mickey ears and a bit of pixie dust. My newest discovery is the Five Blossom Bread from Oga's Cantina behind me, and it comes in at number 12 on our list of the best foods at Disneyland. It truly is that good. I've only had it once, only the once, but it was like uh, maybe a week or two ago. It's pretty recent. Phenomenal. I'd get it again in a heartbeat. If you have never gotten it, you need to. Oga's Cantina, yes, it's a bit hard to get a reservation, but if you come in the morning, you can do walk-up real easy. They also have walk-up later on throughout the day as well. So if you can't manage to snag a reservation before you come, just check that wait, uh, wait list, that walk-up list when you get here. And we are back now at Jolly Holiday for number 11, the Jolly Holiday Combo. Yes, or specifically the tomato basil soup that is in the Jolly Holiday Combo. Uh, the um, sandwich itself I have had prepared in a variety of different ways. Sometimes it's amazing, other times it's kind of hard and crusty, but that tomato basil soup is always perfection. My favorite thing, one of my favorite things. I mean, if it was more substantial than just a tomato basil soup, it would probably be higher on the list, but oh, so good. Rounding out the bottom of the top 10 is the not so little chicken sandwich. Yes, we come back to Pim Test Kitchen for the third time in this video. That's because Pim Test Kitchen is the best quick service restaurant at Disney California Adventure. And so it makes sense that a lot of the items on their menu are making it into our top 25 favorites. I had Amy help me out with this. And so it's not just my opinions. She had some say so in a lot of this as well she believes that it uh it should go where it is uh the chicken i don't know it, it's so hard to explain it's not just like the novelty of the tiny little bun the chicken itself has a really good flavoring i'm not a big fan of the potato barrels it comes with if i have a complaint about it but that does not take away from how delicious the chicken is next up is the cold brew black calf from docking bay seven i've said it before on the channel this is the most popular coffee drink in the entire park possibly even the entire resort. Every time I walk in there just to get a cup of water, because I don't drink coffee, there's always at least a dozen on the table. They are always making these. People buy them like crazy. It is super popular. It's Amy's preferred coffee drink at Disneyland. Check out the cold brew at Black Cat. Some might argue that number eight should be higher on the list. We have the Quesa Burrito Tacos from Cucina Cucamonga. It is the most popular item on their menu by far. They have a limit on how many you can buy. I mean, that's how, how you know an item is popular, when there is a limit on how many you can buy. The Quesa Burrito, oh, so tasty. When they take that burrito and they put it in the Jolly Holiday combo over at uh, the Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe, you get the burrito toasted cheese. Oh, and, and there's a reason why they mesh those two together, because they're some of the most popular items in the whole resort. Queso Barilla tacos. If you've never gotten them, get them. I mean, uh, they're good. And at number seven, we have the Rontolas Garden Wrap from Ronto Roasters. Now, Amy and I agreed that we could take any of the three Ronto wraps and put them in the slot for number seven because I find them all to be equally good. But if I have to pick just one, it's gonna be the Ronto Less Garden Wrap. Uh, it's available for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can get it whenever, uh, unlike the others, which are dependent on the time of the day. Check out the Ronto Less Garden Wrap. It belongs in the top 10 for a reason. Then it's the lobster nachos at number six. Yes, Lamplight Lounge, uh, of course, had to make it into the video. The most popular table service restaurant at Disney California Adventure. And this is the most popular item on the menu. It's best whenever you're up at the boardwalk and you can watch a credit coaster go by beautiful scenery, uh, eating those lobster nachos, really, really good. Uh, if you happen to be able to snag a reservation or make it on the walk-up list for Lamplight Lounge, be sure to try the lobster nachos. And our top five begins with the Monte Cristo from Cafe Orleans. Cafe Orleans is easily my favorite table service restaurant at Disneyland. And we recently had their signature dish for the very first time. And the Monte Cristo is their most popular and is their signature dish for a reason. 
French toast sticks wrapped around a ham and cheese sandwich. What more can you ask for? Oh, palm frits, of course. I can't forget the palm frits. Amy would just go there just to eat those. At number four, we have meat skewers from Bengal Barbecue. In particular, the banyan beef is my favorite, but every single one of them are phenomenal, from the Chieftain chicken to the Bengal beef, even the asparagus. It's all amazing. Give it a shot. Bengal Barbecue, top five. Then it's gotta be the garlic cheesy pretzel bread from Maurice's Treats. Uh, this is one of my newest favorite snacks. We get it all the time. If you've been watching for any length of time, there's no way you haven't heard me talk about this item. I love it. And if you really, really want a special treat, combine it with the item from number four. Yes, those Bengal skewers inside the cheesy garlic pretzel bread. Mm, perfection. Next, we have the Mickey Gingerbread Cookie. Now, I know that this is a seasonal item. It's a Christmas seasonal item. And we don't have any seasonal items on this list, primarily because you never know if they're actually going to come back. But the Mickey Gingerbread comes back every single year. There are a couple of varieties of Mickey Gingerbreads around the park, but the one that we're talking about specifically is from Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe, the full body Mickey Gingerbread Cookie, the one that has a limit of like five per order and the one that sells out or sometimes isn't on mobile order because it sells out so quickly. Uh, so yes, Mickey Gingerbread, Amy said this needed to be at number two. She said that it had to be. She, she couldn't put it any lower and it really is that good. I mean, we buy like four or five when we come and then we have snacks for days when we go home, so great. And finally, coming in at number one, you probably figured it out by now by its uh, obvious lack of showing up earlier in the video, we have the Pineapple Dole Whip. You can get this at Tropical Hideaway or at the Tiki Juice Bar, either way. Pineapple Dole Whip is the best snack at Disneyland, the best food at Disneyland, in my opinion. You cannot come to Disneyland without getting a Pineapple Dole Whip. You just can't, it's that amazing. The best part about it is, it is gluten-free, it's vegan-friendly, it's everything. But specifically here at Tropical Hideaway, you can also get the mango and strawberry flavors or you can get a swirl that's something that you can't get at tiki juice bar afterwards come here and dine in this majestic little scenic dining area and that's it for our time here today at disneyland giving you my top 25 foods snacks and drinks if you enjoyed this video remember to hit that like and subscribe button then click this video if you want to see that best of quick service meals that I talked about earlier on to keep watching. Thanks for watching and we will see you again next time.